Today, we're gonna to take a look at the all new DJI Osmo Pocket. I'm going to show you some footage that I shot over the last week with the Osmo Pocket, and we're gonna go over all the features and everything you can expect once you get your hands on this brand new micro size three axis stabilized 4K camera system time lapse machine. It's too many things. All right, what's going on, guys? Patrick here with Droners today. I'm really excited to talk about this new piece. Now, I'm not just excited to talk about it because I'm one of the first people in the world to get my hands on one, but what I'm really excited about is what DJI has done here. Now, the Pocket Osmo might look small, almost like a toy, but what I'm really impressed with here is how high quality, how heavy duty, really this little tiny gimbal, three axis stabilized, time-lapse camera 4K machine is. And to be honest with you guys, I've actually already dropped mine. So if I can say one thing about the Osmo Pocket is that the actual build quality is very high-end. Now this is a consumer piece, let's not get it twisted, but it's going to be used by professionals all around the world. I just wanna give you guys the rundown on kind of what we're looking at and what this tiny little camera system can do. First off, it's very simple and easy to turn on. It's one of the things I really like about the Osmo is it's really easy to use. I've been a filmer for over 10 years. I've been making videos on YouTube. One thing that I've learned while traveling the world filming is that quality is king, but also when you can combine quality with ease of use, you have a really amazing product. And that's exactly what DJI has done here. Let's just give you the breakdown here. You got the little screen on the front. You no longer need to have your phone attached. You can attach your phone, very simple and easy. There's a little attachment for your phone. There's gonna be the new DJI Mimo app as well. That's gonna be able to edit your videos, adjust settings and do all that stuff on your phone like normal. But if you don't wanna have to plug your phone into your Osmo, you don't have to. You can see everything right there on the screen. The screen that you see here is a touch screen. You can control everything right there on the screen. You don't need to have your phone or an app. You can do everything pretty much right there. Adjust your settings. You can change it to selfie mode by pressing a button there. And you can really do some cool things just by using the little touch screen on the front. And you can see everything that you're filming, your photos, and do everything right there on the touch screen. You got the little record button and you got the micro SD slot. This little camera right here shoots 4K video at 60 frames per second. It's also smooth and stabilized with the three axis gimbal. Now you can also shoot 12 megapixel photos. You can do time lapses, you can do motion lapses, you can do panoramic photos all right on the little touch screen there on the front of the Osmo Pocket. I don't have to worry about calibrating it. It's ready to go just by simply turning it on. So that's gonna be a big plus for me. I don't need to spend a lot of time. I can take it from my pocket, put it in my hand and start filming right away. And that's gonna be the big, big benefit for me. As a videographer, as a content creator, I need products that are quick, and easy to use. DJI has blown my mind once again, proving how amazing technology really is by putting a 4K camera on a three axis gimbal in this tiny of a package. This footage is straight out of the camera, no color grading, no post-processing, nothing like that. It's straight out of the camera onto my hard drive and then right onto YouTube. It's very clean, it's high quality, it looks great, it's really impressive. I'm still impressed on how DJI was able to do this. The 12 megapixel photos look great. You can easily switch from photo back to video really quickly, take a photo, switch back to video and keep filming. Now there's also the feature with the motion lapse and the time lapse feature as well right inside of the screen, you can go in there and you can select motion laps and then be able to set up your motion just by controlling the gimbal, which is pretty cool. Now I'll do a more in-depth video soon, kind of getting into every little detail, every little feature, but this video here really is to just show you guys the quality of footage and what you can expect when you first get your hands on the Osmo Pocket. Now, like I said earlier, the footage that you're seeing is 4K, 30 frames per second, no post-processing, no color grading. 
It went right from the micro SD card right to my hard drive and then right to YouTube. And you can see the actual footage that you will get when you first take the Osmo Pocket out of the box and start to film. I think there's still room to improve the quality of the footage by going in and adjusting some settings like we do with some of the other DJI products, kind of make a flatter image and that way I can color grade it later on. But I really just wanted to make this first video showing you exactly what you're going to get out of the box. And I'm going to be testing out some settings soon and I'll share those with you guys. Low light, no problem. You can take the pocket Osmo anywhere. I went to an NBA game, had the Osmo in my pocket. I pulled it out. I was able to film, get a couple shots for YouTube and it was quick and easy. If you're thinking about maybe purchasing a pocket Osmo for your videography business, I would definitely grab a couple of these because what's cool here is you can actually just leave this. It'll stand without anything. It'll stand by itself. So you'll be able to put it off to the side. You can shoot some time lapses. You can just grab it really quickly. It's easy to conceal, keep it out of the way. You can maybe give it to somebody to walk around with. I was able to just hand this right to my girlfriend. She turned it on. She was recording within seconds and she was able to walk around getting handheld stabilized footage. 4K video, I still, I can't get over the fact that this little tiny camera shoots amazing 4K video and it's stabilized. I keep talking about that, but really guys, I am blown away at how cool this little camera thing is. I don't know what you want to call it. Is it a camera? Is it a gimbal? I'm just going to call it a content gathering machine because that's really what it's going to be amazing for. It's going to be amazing for just capturing everything. I'm going to basically just mount it on my chest here. I'm going to walk everywhere and I'm going to have it constantly filming. The battery lasts basically all day. I used it today. We went on the boat. The battery was at 99%. We went on the boat. I got off the boat. It was about 80%. So I was able to film for a couple hours and had no problem with the battery. It's also really easy to charge. If you have a little power bank, you can just charge it with the USB-C cable. Overall, I really have no complaints when it comes to the Pocket Osmo. I need to spend more time tweaking it and really dialing it in. But like I said, this camera is not going to leave my side. When I travel, when I film, you can expect me to have the Pocket Osmo in my pocket. At the end of the day, one of the biggest things for a content creator, for really anybody who's looking to shoot video, or really just anybody out there who wants to capture memories, moments in life, the Osmo Pocket makes it very simple to do that. In the past, I would end up missing shots or I would end up not filming something that happened because it was too much work to grab my older Osmo or to grab my camera get it all set up and get it dialed in, you know, calibrated and ready to film. A lot of times things happen fast in the real world, so you really need to have equipment that's fast and easy to use to capture that. This Osmo right here is going to change the game when it comes to really just content creation because now it's so easy, I have no excuse to not be filming, to not have a camera on me at all times because it's so tiny and so small, I can put it right in my pocket I can go anywhere in the world with it and have no problem. There's also going to be an underwater housing. That's what I'm really excited for as well. I do a lot of stuff on boats, on the water, and I'm excited to see how this is going to perform underwater. I'm still amazed after using this for the last week on just how cool this really is. So if you're on the fence about buying the brand new Osmo Pocket, well, I think you need to go out and grab it right now from DroneNerds.com. Head on over there to DroneNerds.com. Get your order in today. These babies are shipping very soon, and I want to make sure that you guys get yours first. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. More videos to come very soon talking about the DJI Osmo Pocket. <laughs>